In this lesson, we'll discuss how to make chains of vehicles connected together, as in tractor trailers and passenger cars with small utility trailers and so forth. Let's start by getting a tractor from the vehicle database. We'll use this Freightliner. And let's start to pull some trailers from the database. How about a tanker? And we can really connect together a number of vehicles together in a chain. So just for fun, let's uh, chain together three different trailers to this tractor. Why not? Here's a little light duty trailer. So here we have some trailers we'd like to link together. And this is all that one needs to do. You click, left click on the trailer you would like to connect to a lead vehicle and then go to the trailer property and simply left click pick leader and then click on the lead vehicle and then adjust the hitch location as needed. So these two vehicles are connected together now and if we were to give our tractor and initial speed and um, we can even start playing with steer angles and you'll see that the trailer is following the leader as determined by the laws of physics you'll even see tire marks being left on the surface due to uh, lateral, slight lateral tire slipping. Okay, let's connect the other trailers now in the chain. So again, one simply connects, uh, left clicks the trailer to select it, and then on its trailer property you pick the leader that you want to connect it to, and here you see it's already connected to the one in front of it, and the same for this guy. And now we can look at how our path is updated. And you can see all three trailers are moving together. Let's extend the amount of playback time. <laughs> you can see the whole system circling in upon itself. And we could put some payload into those trailers. Let's see what happens. Let's uh, let's draw an ellipsoid. So here we have a simple ellipsoid. Let's make it a little bit wider, and let's adjust it so that it's a bit more square but with rounded edges. And um, this is, all the primitive shapes can participate in the physics simulation simply by making it a uh, rigid body. And it gets uh, default mass properties. 
Let's just lower those a bit. And we can load it into this trailer. Like so. Let's change its color so that's a bit easier to see. Now we can already see something interesting going on. The ellipsoid starts at rest, and it's probably slightly in the air off the surface, the bottom surface of the trailer. Uh, so it's probably, it's going to free fall a little bit and then get caught by the back edge of the trailer. I want to um, want to reduce its size a little bit. And there's a reason why. Okay. And I'm going to give it an initial speed that's equal to our Freightliner's initial speed. Let's say 30 miles per hour. So now it'll move along with, it has the ina same initial configuration as our tractor trailer system. And let's see what happens. You can see that the payload is starting to tumble around. And of course the way in which it moves, the particulars of it will depend upon the coefficient of friction uh, that's set between the ellipsoid and this trailer. But I just wanted to show how the uh, payload will tumble around if it's not fixed. And that could be a ellipsoid, a sphere, a box, a vehicle. You could place a vehicle in there. Really, there are endless possibilities in the uh, virtual crash.
So here's our system again. And as you would expect from uh, Newton's first law, the red cargo continues to move forward as the tractor trailer system turns until it's acted upon by both friction and contact with the sidewall of the trailer. Let's slow that down. There you see it. So that's all there is to it, to uh, making a system of vehicles connected together by uh, joints. And this can be used to model tractor trailers or any vehicle which is towing a trailer. And the trailer can have uh, some cargo. Thank you.